Hello everyone, welcome to the series on best of IPM. My name is Jamin Shah and this particular question is from IPMAT 2019 QA short answer section. A very easy question but let's see how can you save your time in solving this particular question. I want you to read the question, pause the video, solve on your own and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. So what is given to us? The average of five distinct integers is 110 and the smallest number among them is 100. So smallest number is 100, right? And the average is 110. The maximum possible value of the largest number, so I have second number, third number, fourth number, and the fifth number, I want to maximize this. Which means, this four should be smallest, I mean the smaller, as small as possible, right? So what I can say is I can take the next number as 101 because it says 5 distinct number. So this is 102 and this is 103. Now the one way is that you can add and you know you can say this as x. Add all of them, divide by 5 equal to 110. Okay and solve the equation and get the value of x here. But the interesting thing here is to understand that how easy your life would become if you, if you apply the concept of method of assume mean. Let's say that the assume value, assume mean is 110, which is given to us as the average. So the first value is basically minus 10. Second value is minus 9. This is minus 8 and this is minus 7. So the addition of this value is nothing but as minus 34, which means this particular value should be 34 more than the given average. Only then the average will be 110 and hence your answer will be 110. 44. Solve the replica question on your own and see if you are able to apply the method of assume mean here and type your answer in the comment section. We will get back with the correct answer within 24 hours.